Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Geordie Paranormal Society. Today I'm riding solo doing a reacts video. Today we're going to be doing it on five scary ghost videos to watch in total darkness. And it's by a channel called Depths of Despair. So don't forget, drop a like, drop us a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Do the same for Depths of Despair, which we will try to tag in the uh, the video. So. Let's get to it. Let's see what we got today. Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos Caught on Camera Endless Stairs This first video comes from the TikTok page Hockey First. Now the creepy thing about this page is that they recently started live streaming and on the live stream we see a person going down what appears to be a never-ending staircase with all the lights flickering on their own Strange that it seems to be. If we go back a little bit, it seems to be only happening from his level down. So the lights at the top if it aren't flashing, so that's a bit strange. Oh, that's creepy. Getting louder. Someone's genuinely scared. The person can be seen going down the staircase for a long period of time without getting any closer to the bottom. And sometimes things change. And at one point the staircase even swaps to the left side. So I mean those doors During one part of the live stream, a man wearing an all black. Oh, I was gonna actually come around the doors for a second, but that's a bit. So if you see the doors, oh, come on. During one part. There we go. They looks as though the swing back and forth. So that explains the noise of the creaking. But still, it's a bit unexplainable at this moment. Part of the live stream, a man wearing an all black cloak can be seen just slowly walking down the stairs as if chasing after the man recording. I don't mind that, it looked as though. <laughs> yeah. If you watch them, it looks as though they're just turning to see if he's still standing there. <laughs> there, there we go, a little turn. Yep, he's still there, let's carry on. Hold me chain. It's a bit of a freeze there. Some viewers have said it looks like a simulation, but this was dismissed after seeing his body and legs in the footage, as well as a bit of talking. Some people suggested that it could be a loop, but the footage changes and different things happen ever so often, so it's hard to say. But it does resemble the game SCP-087, which is about a creepy dark staircase that seems never ending. So what do you think is going on here? Is this a real creepy phenomenon? Or is this just some very good looping? Let me know 
what you think. I don't know. What do you think? Drop a comment. Let us know what you think, but... It just seems too good to be true, if you know what I mean. Like, very strange. Obviously, we didn't see the whole video, the whole live. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's extra strange because it's live. It's harder to do, but then again, I don't know a lot about TikTok live. If you can sort of edit on the fly or... I, I don't know. I'd have to have a look into TikTok live and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, as he says, it could be a very special loop. Not 100% convinced. Um, spook meter for myself. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I would probably say... If I was there, and it was legit, continuous stairs, can't escape, it's 100% a 10. It's a bit of a groundhog day, isn't it, you know? Um, I just don't know. I'm not 100% of that, I believe in it. But yeah, if it was legit, and if I was there, if it was me, it would be 100% a 10. But uh, yeah, let's continue. Next one is 4, Haunted School. Haunted School. A brave young man decided to explore an abandoned school located in Mazatlan, Mexico, after hearing various rumours of the place being haunted. Some local residents said that they sometimes see the hallways covered with mist, and strange voices could be heard. They also reported that there was a hidden classroom underground, where kids were kept and mistreated so this place must have built up some negative energy over time and after exploring he captured something that gave him the chills the school ones can be creepy en los segundos vamos a ir al segundo L son creo que son como las 2:17 de la mañana could me that up vamos a ver qué pedo Gonna check if it's my quality. Uh, One ten eighty. Let's continue. Again, it's another terrible camera. I've seen ones like this with classrooms. I wonder if it's the same ones that I've seen. Según se mueven las bancas, pero vamos a ver. Son las dos diez. La chingada. No mames. Just give us some uh, goosebumps there. Eh? Don't know if it's just cold in here. <laughs> After entering the classroom, he is quickly scared away when one of the seats and tables move by itself, leaving us to wonder if this is real or a ruse. It would have been nice to see him explore the grounds a little more, but I guess we'll never know. Now, those ones, schools. I've seen a few of the, um, the school videos and a lot of them are very strange. With that one, could it be, you know, wires, fish and wire, pulling it, making the chair move? I mean, you can't really see with that quality video, so you, it's hard to tell. Um, he didn't seem very scared. Um, even, I think, the noise of a chair moving in, in, a, in a quiet room when, you, when you're on your own. Personally, I think it would just, it would make you, you know, <laughs> make a little bit of a noise. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the reaction just doesn't seem to be there. Unless he's very versed to it. It happens all the time. He goes looking for that stuff all the time. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, as I say, it could be the same person from the other videos that I've seen where it's classroom lights are flickering, going crazy, stuff's moving, seeing people walking past. Um, but, yeah, on a... On a Spook me there, I would definitely say that's probably a four. 
Yeah, it's not very scary. We've seen stuff move around in investigations previously. Um, I think it only becomes scary if it starts <laughs> being thrown at you. You know. But yeah, let's continue. Next one is three abandoned asylum. Abandoned asylum. I like these types. The next video videos. comes from the TikTok user. Catch me tongue. I love abandoned buildings, not abandoned videos, whatever that is. <laughs> Talia Valente from Brazil. On April the 3rd, 2021, she mm. decided to explore an abandoned asylum along with some friends and family. The exploration consists of seven parts, but only one of them contains something creepy that she caught on. Let's guess. Make a guess. I don't think I've seen this one. But I'm going to make a guess. She's walking past the room. Videoing. And there's something standing in the room. The camera stops for a second. Carries on. And she doesn't notice it. Let's see. The camera. Take a look. A gente tá indo pros outros lados, que é bem escondido dela, Rosa. Que é onde o povo ficava, tipo, real presaço. Bom, a gente tá indo agora pro necrotério. Eu tô, tipo, agora eu tô com medo. Agora eu tô com medo, amiga. Olha isso. Gente, essa parte aqui, por incrível que me pareça, eu achei bem bonita. Eu tiraria uma foto aqui tranquilamente. E aqui é, é o necrotério. <risos> tipo... Through the windows inside one of the locked buildings, we can see what looks like some pale ghostly figures just standing there staring out at no nothing. That's a bit creepy. Not what I was expecting, to be fair. Just standing there staring out at. So there's one there, one there. Is there another one there? Enough. No, it's just a two by the looks of it. So yeah. Look like little kids, to be fair, but then again, I mean, is the little kids there? Are they living there? Are they homeless? Are they doing the same as them, just visiting and heard some noises and went to check out, out the window? But they don't look to have tops on for whatever reason. But then again, it might be a warm climate. I, I, I don't know. Let's continue, see what else. Thing. This seemed to go unnoticed at the time. Could these be the spirits of people who were once a part of the asylum? By the way they stare out at nothing, it makes me think so. Assuming this is real. What do you think? Um, two on the spook. Yeah, because one, they never seen it. Two, second floor. Three behind bars. It's not exactly like an imminent threat where you need to uh, <laughs> vacate the premises uh, in a quick, in a quick manner. So yeah, it's, that's definitely a two. It seemed creepy, interesting, paranormal. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. But still interesting. As again. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's legit? Do you think it's real? Um, yeah, let me know. Let's continue. Number two, Shadow Man. We all love a Shadow Man. Shadow Man. The next video comes from the YouTube channel Zero Fox FK. Looks like a gaming Zero channel. Fox decided to make a video showcasing the different vision modes of the Xbox. Oh, Kinect. I think I might have seen this. However. Upon doing so, he captures something. So the good thing about the Kinect is that um, they use them in what's called the SLS uh, camera. Um, basically, it's where they use the you know the, the Microsoft Kinect where you could map yourself out and play games um, of yourself in the room. You can adapt them to be connected to like little tablets or laptops where you can walk around buildings and it picks up sh uh, stick figures. Um, we've got two of them. Um, they are really, really good. You know, we've had some pretty phenomenal um, 
investigations where we've had them out and you just see you you walking into a room and there's there's a figure sitting in a chair and one of the one of our members this is a story one of our members walked up close to it and so obviously we said if that is you sitting in the chair can you hold or grab our investigator's hand and no lie pretty much instantaneously the hand on the SLS lifts up obviously you kind of feel it well, there's Alexa talking in the background um, so yeah you can't feel it but obviously on the SLS we're watching and it's holding his hand amazing absolutely phenomenal we've had ones before as well where we've walked into a room and there's been a um, I think we've actually got a video on YouTube about this one where it's a stick figure lying down on a chair um, and as soon as we notice it and say oh uh, it's disappears it's gone so again the SLS as you're probably going to see on this one which it isn't an SLS because it hasn't been configured or tweaked or made into one but it's just going to be a plain old Xbox Connect cam so it should be pretty good terrifying yeah this is good if I remember rightly it's over his uh, on the right hand side of the screen here as soon as he goes onto the S connect mode yeah that was strange but if you notice with that one that wasn't the connect stick figure option that was just infrared um see so yeah very strange let's continue he looks so confused that's the depth he is so confused about what just happened and that's what I like, it's genuine. The fact it moves, and then as soon as he realizes, disappeared, gone. But look at his face, that's what's genuine about it. He then goes on to make another video, explaining how the aspect ratio changes when he switches vision modes. Yeah, so... So it looks like he's cutting scenes and editing things. No, it's not. It but changes to 4 by 3 It's just nice, just a quick video to clear something up. I uploaded a video a while ago showing the different vision modes that the Xbox One Connect can do. And uh, a lot of people said it was edited because I... Because when I switch the vision modes, it I change position and my T-shirt changes uh, to a completely different one. Um, I've explained loads of times that this is exactly what happens with the Xbox One Connect, and it changes aspect ratio. But I figured I might as well go one better and show you guys live. Um, so let me just switch on the Connect now, and like anyone with an Xbox One Connect can do this themselves and see exactly what I'm talking about. See, I've got another webcam. Uh, apart from the Xbox Connect to show that it's all legit and stuff. Um, you just go down to this. Anyone with a Connect can do this. And I'm still here. I haven't transported to any different alternate universes. Stuff changes position because it changes aspect ratio. See, that's crazy, isn't it? Is it kind of As he switches vision oh. mode, <laughs> a black shadow figure appears in the room turning its head to the side before quickly vanishing, leaving Zero Fox completely baffled that's as to crazy. what he just saw. That's so, goosebumps. is this a real shadow figure caught on camera? Or maybe some good old CGI? I'll let you be the judge. If you have any video recommendations, you can send... See, now, to me, that's legit. 100% legit. It's just, it's his reaction, 
It's his face. His facial expression is just confusion. He doesn't know what's happened. He's trying to process it, but it's just... It's not clicking at the time, which is why he turns. Obviously, he doesn't say anything, so he turns back, and it's just like, what? So, obviously, at that time, he's probably questioning, questioning himself. Probably doesn't want to believe what he's just seen. Bit spooked, scared. Um, yeah, amazing. An amazing meter, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Spook meter, I would probably say six because at the end of the day <laughs> as soon as he clicks into that what that um infrared mode and it's looking at him it's like over him you know just imagine that just behind you staring at you and you don't even know it's there so yeah i would definitely say 100 percent that that is creepy um yeah wouldn't wouldn't like that so Definitely a 6 on the spook meter, 10 on the amazing meter because, again, watch it back. Um, it's it's 5 Scary Goes videos to watch in total darkness by depth, Depths of Despair. Watch it back. It's roughly 10 minutes in. Um, it's just his reaction. It's phenomenal. I love it. I love it. It's great. Right, let's go back. That's not my wife. The next sequence of videos come from the TikTok page. Do so you've always got to be dubious about these ones. I don't know if I've seen it. I might have. Probably have. Wouldn't be surprised. But, dude, my house is haunted. It's sort of... That's, it, that's what it is and that's what it's trying to do. Um, so yeah, let's just watch it. And let's not judge it before we've seen it. <laughs> Dude, my house is haunted. Who has been experiencing oh, some strange yes, I have and unexplainable seen things this is, happening yeah. within his house over the last ten years? The activity I've already got so goosebumps bad, because I've, I've seen this. So it was easy to ignore and carry on with his everyday life. Until just recently, the activity has gotten much more intense. So he has decided to set up some cameras around the house to try and capture these events, thinking this is the spirit of his wife who passed away many years ago. He often finds things all over the place and even sees things moving on their own in the kitchen, just like this. This is another reaction one, amazing. Yeah, you'll always find that with households. If if your house is haunted, it can go through sort of periods of where there's a lot of activity, where it's quiet, or quite often you just get used to it. But as soon as you go to do renovations or change things around in the house, things around in the house, things around in the house, things around in the house. Noises again. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it's sorry. 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 It's a bit hard when you've got these head when you got this headset on and you hear noises behind you. You've got no idea what it really is. Yeah, clicking and banging. Could be the house. You know, it's getting a bit chilly in here, so it could be the house just cooling down. Um. Yeah, so it's a bit wild. But no, so what you'll find is when doing renovations, that's when a lot of things can start to happen because you're sort of stirring it. If you know what I mean, whether it's these spirits or or whoever was there previously, you know, is is knowing the house or whatever it is, 
as it was and you're changing it whether it's causing upset whether it's causing curiosity i'm not too sure i suppose it all depends on the location but you know we've had uh, situations where you know you've been renovating the house you know especially my mom and dad's old house yeah um, i remember when my dad was sort of you know hammering stuff he'd put the hammer down grab something else do something go pick the hammer up and it would be halfway across the room obviously he just put a town beside him and it's 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 moved um it's had situations where swinging his sledgehammers knocking a wall down and he's going to turn around to like shout because he thinks that we're standing right behind him and we might get hurt turns around and there's absolutely nobody there um yeah we we when we were renovating this house as well we'd you would see shadow people not just shadow people but you'd see full body apparitions you know as clear as day um things would move about objects would be touched we had a speaker once that used to turn itself up and down but you would actually see the dial turning and moving um it's it's crazy yeah so i understand with this one when it comes to renovations let's continue let's see what happens dishwasher this stove the oven hood there um, but this morning when i came into the kitchen i noticed the cabinet was open and then i noticed this chair uh, so i checked the ring video and it definitely <sighs> and the refrigerator's been making a god-awful noise it used to make another god-awful noise like the fan bearings were screeching and it was just such a loud whistle sometimes i just unplug it Sometimes I could unplug it and plug it back in and it would stop doing it. But now it's making this. Whoa! Okay, see, so <laughs> I didn't even move. I mean, it's a bit strange, but it just happened to be that cabinet that he was pointing his camera at. Um, so, it obviously wants to make itself known and it wants to show that it's there. We've had ones previously where things will happen, you'll pull a camera out and it just stops. So this one, he's quite lucky if it is legit. Um, as I say, further on in the video, some of it will, will sort of come out so genuine that it must be real, if you know what I mean. Um, but still, you've got to be dubious. You've got to question things like this. I wasn't even moving. That's the first time that's happened since the last time. Okay. <laughs> first time since the last time. Look at that. Uh, amazing. Closed, and there's nothing on the edge. Yeah, I can't see any strings attached anywhere. Nothing on the edge that would, like here on this edge that would. Unless the string was a. Attached to the point where you pull it and it dislodges. You know what gets me about this? Obviously the chair's going to move because I believe that's what he was talking about when he was going to check the camera. About the chair falling over. Why would you put a camera there? Like, really? Why would you put a camera where at least a third is being blocked out by two chairs? It doesn't really make sense. You would put it in a in a place. I know sometimes it's a bit hard because obviously you might not want to screw holes in your wall or something like that. But why do you put it in a place that's blocked by a lot of it? A lot of the vision is blocked. It just it doesn't it doesn't make sense. So when stuff like this happens, it always puts in my head it's fake it has to be fake because if you were legitimately trying to do like find out if it's haunted if it's paranormal if it's this if it's that you would put the camera in a location even if you sat on stacked boxes or something like that you know um with an extension cord going across the room <laughs> being there done that you know it could go on top of this fridge with an extension cord going somewhere you know and then it's going to have quite a lot of visibility of the 
of, of the room but then again it's down here is going to be blocked because that's not going to be in the vision so it is hard but this just it just doesn't doesn't add up so yeah that's just my two pence let's continue it does get better though And the movement of the chair is very weird. Because at first you think, okay, it does it spins, it rotates, so that could be string attached to just say this, where the string goes around and then it's pulled in that direction so it it turns first, but the fact that it turns down here and then spins down there as well, it's a bit strange. And you can't see any reflectiveness because sometimes, you know, fish and wire if there was a bit of fish in wire, sometimes they reflect off the uh, the infrared. Um, which obviously you can't see any of that. Let's just rewind it slightly. I want to see the movement of the chair again. So yeah, it spins counterclockwise. Yeah, it does a half. And then it spins clockwise. Strange. Strange indeed. But you cannot see behind here. Why is there a coat? Why is there a coat on this one? I know it could just be coincidence. And I'm sounding very critical. <laughs> but the one that moves has nothing on it. The one that it moves towards and behind has a big coat where you just so happens cannot see behind it. Uh, again, comment down below and please, please drop a subscribe. Drop a subscribe. We're trying to grow the community, trying to, you know, build up. Um, apologies that we haven't released any videos this 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 beginning part, middle of the week. Um, we've had a lot sort of going on. Uh, we've got a couple of fun videos coming up soon. So yeah, as I say, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We massively, massively appreciate it. So thank you very much. But well, let's continue. Is that a white mist? Yeah, it is. And the chair moves. A chair in the kitchen can be seen sliding and turning around on its own until a mist-like figure manifests itself and violently throws the chair across the room. Now, after this, he seriously begun to doubt that this entity could be his long-lost deceased wife. And a few days later, things got even more terrifying. And after this, he was certain that this was not his wife. Remember how I said uh, I didn't know how I'd react if um, this thing started touching me. <sighs> See this is seeing the tear. It's a real genuine reaction. <sighs> it started walking towards me. This is what happened earlier that day. 
Yeah, he's either a really good actor or that's a pretty, pretty genuine reaction. You know, you can hear it in his voice, he's trembling, he's, he's obviously got tears in his eyes. Yeah, it's... Yeah, let me know what you think. A, that's a pretty genuine reaction you can see when he freezes you know and he stops and he's listening and he's f he's feeling what's going on and what's happening to him he's you know anyone that's been in a situation like that where the whole body's frozen and haven't been able to move will know knows exactly what it's like um yeah it's a creepy crazy situation but it's just his reaction his tears he's yeah it's yeah that's very very genuine you know at least it seems that way let's continue after feeling the presence of something evil standing behind him now was it evil did he take it as evil i mean asking for help sounding like multiple voices i mean in that video i didn't hear the voices i have seen a video where i've heard the voices but in that one for whatever i was i just i couldn't hear um, so yeah and hearing whispers of tormented souls suffering he is absolutely sure that this is not his wife and after catching the attic door slamming shut by itself he thinks there could be something horrifying living up there and that perhaps these lost souls were also made to suffer and be trapped in the attic. Maybe. I think this could very number. well be the case. But let me know what you guys think. <gasps> yeah, I could hear it there. Bonus. Rocking. I could definitely hear obviously when it was enhanced. Um yeah, I'm not too sure. I think it could be trapped spirits, wherever they're being held by, you know, another spirit that's sort of keeping them prisoner or something. I'm not too sure. Um It's a strange one. It's a strange one because as I say, a lot of some well some of the videos just 
I don't know, it's just, yeah, it's a coincidence that some of the things are in the way or some of the things happen behind things. Um, could be coincidence, could be accident. Might not have any other cho choice to do it that way. Um, but the the reactions is, is sort of what tips it just over. Um, so on a spook meter, I would probably say seven. Um, you know, we've all heard, well not everyone, but a lot of people that are into the paranormal or investigations so on and so forth have heard things, whispers, that sort of stuff. Um, disembodied voices, EVPs, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it is a bit spooky, especially if it happens, you know, as I say, disembodied voice and you hear it, hear it with a group of people there and then. Um, can be a bit freaky. But it's, yeah, it's not scary, scary. Um, so yeah, I would, say, I would say seven, definitely. So let's, uh, let's, let's move on. As I say, I don't know what you think. Drop a comment, let us know. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next uh, bonus rocking chair. I've got a good story about a rocking chair. I'll have to put it in one of uh, our ghost stories. Chair. In this short video, a girl was recording her little brother playing with their dog on just an average ordinary day, when suddenly the boy notices something and points to it. She then pans the camera over, and what they capture is quite chilling. Take a look. Oh, that's a shadow. As the boy points and she pans the camera over, we can see a rocking chair rocking by itself. But the creepiest thing about it is that a shadow figure looks as if it's sitting on the armrest of the chair before getting up and walking along the wall. No other information was provided, so we are left to wonder I don't just know. what did they see here? And is it real? Or just a simple ruse? Only you can judge. I could very... very easily... Yeah... Could very easily be faked. Very, very, very easily be faked. I mean, at the end of the day, it just seems to be very coincidental. Again, it's always coincidence that a, st a strong, focused bit of light is on this part. You know, whereas here is very dull, warm. That's very bright white. So, is there a camera, oh, not camera sorry, is there a light pointing at the chair, is somebody using something underneath to rock it, is, has somebody used the hand or maybe the body off camera to look as though the stand, because it doesn't look as though the, st it looks as though it's leaned back and then just goes like that, it doesn't look like somebody's sitting going to a stand, if you get what I mean. Let's yeah, see, it's like that. And then that's all for today, guys. But if you like, yeah. So I'm not convinced by that M1. I think that could be very easily faked. Again, it's another potato camera, as we like to call it. Um, obviously, I know not everyone can afford, you know, the highest of quality cameras, which is, you know, it's a shame. Obviously, that's how it is in some places um, so you've you know you work with what you've got at the end of the day but yeah I think that one's oh, I think that one's definitely uh, faked I don't I don't find it legit at all but um, let us know what you think so yeah we just want to say thank you very much for watching again please subscribe to depths of despair thank you very much it's this video is five scary ghost videos to watch in total darkness obviously 
I haven't been in Total Darkness, so maybe I didn't get the full effect of it. Maybe I wasn't scared enough. But uh, yeah, so thank you very much for joining. Don't forget, drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, yeah, just generally join, join me on uh, our journey. Um, join the community and see see how things go. Um, yeah, all the best and catch you on the next video. Thank you.